In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the CapCut Shortcuts feature. Just select your clips. Notice that you can change albums that are displayed inside CapCut by tapping where it says Recent. And then just choose your photos or videos like normal. The app may automatically switch back to the Recents photo album. I'm not sure why this is. I think it's because the Shortcuts app is supposed to produce videos of a specific length. If you want to switch back to your album, just repeat the process I did in the last step. Tab where it says Recents and choose your album. Make sure Photos or Videos is selected and you can continue selecting and adding your clips. Once you're done, tap on Add. The clips will be added to the project, and the effects from the theme you've chosen will be added. If you want to choose a different theme, just select one of the themes from the bottom. You can also replace the default sound, but for this tutorial, I'm going to leave it the same. If you select a different theme, the video will have to be reprocessed. Just wait until the processing icon disappears. When you are satisfied with your video, you can tap on the export icon and you'll have two different options. You can save the video to your device with the CapCut watermark or share the video to TikTok with no CapCut watermark. Make your selection and the export will begin.